a cybersecurity bootcamp that comes with a 100% job guarantee. If you've ever asked this question before, you have come to the right video. Today, we're going to be reviewing the Springboard Cybersecurity Bootcamp that actually does indeed have a job guarantee where if you don't land a job within six months of graduating the program, you'll get a 100% full refund. So what does this bootcamp actually cover? Let's jump right into it. So if you go on Springboard's website, you'll see their official cybersecurity bootcamp overview page. And while this video isn't sponsored, I do have a link in my description where you can get $1,000 off of this program using my code with Sandra. So first things first, you'll see right at the top that this program is eligible for a job guarantee where you can learn more about directly on their website. And we'll go deeper into the job guarantee later in this video. But do note this program specifically does mention it is for beginners who are looking to become a cybersecurity analyst, which is typically going to be one of the most common roles in cybersecurity that are entry level. They also mentioned some of the companies that their graduates have been hired into like Cisco, Walmart, Accenture, and CBS. The program is 100% online. It is six months long and it is part-time. This is pretty typical for most cybersecurity boot camps that I've seen. Nowadays, you probably won't find that many in-person boot camps unless they're affiliated with a university or school that is local. They also offer one-on-one -on -one mentorship and career coaching. And one thing to note is the fact that you can graduate with your CompTIA Security Plus certification. Now for most cybersecurity boot camps, this is important to note because many boot camps will prepare you for the CompTIA Security Plus certification, but it may not necessarily be a part of your graduation package. And based on this description, when you complete the Springboard Cybersecurity Bootcamp, you'll also be graduating with your CompTIA Security Plus certification, assuming that you've studied and passed the certification while you're completing the bootcamp. So as I hinted at, you'll be learning core cybersecurity analyst skills, learning how to manage incidents, as well as understanding and assessing security risks and threats. You'll be using tools like Kali Linux, Metasploit, Wireshark, and Map and Splunk all of which are very, very popular in the cybersecurity space. I think one of the most important things is the fact that while these are very popular skills and tools, working in cybersecurity, you're always going to be being introduced to different tools and newer tools that may be coming down the pipeline. And it's more so learning how to learn that's more important than anything else. But I do think that starting with the fundamentals and the most popular tools is definitely going to be very beneficial for you down the line. And the more you scroll down, you'll see their syllabus. So they mentioned 12 topics. Number one is cybersecurity basics, where you'll learn the basics of cybersecurity, learning about different careers, Variables, completing your first InfoSec lab. I do think one thing that differentiates good cybersecurity bootcamps from others is the fact that they have hands-on labs and practice environments where you're able to use a sandbox environment and and basically get to play around with the different technologies that you may also be using on the job. Hands-on experience is always going to be more important than just learning the material from a textbook and never using it. Section two covers cybersecurity fundamentals, including the different types of attackers, as well as recognizing basic security threats and their mitigations. So overall, I would say these are probably some of the core things that you'll need to know as a cybersecurity analyst. Next up is host-based security. A host is essentially any endpoint that can connect to a network. So as part of this section, you'll learn how to protect a computer's hardware, BIOS, wireless devices, peripherals, learning how to protect mobile devices, as well as patch management on Windows and Linux machines. We're towards the IT and information security part of things, but regardless, it is still really good to know as someone who is going into a cybersecurity analyst role. Network security is exactly what it sounds like. You'll be learning how to install and configure security applications, as well as how to secure AWS and Azure cloud assets. This one I think is very interesting because not all cybersecurity bootcamps will cover cloud security. And with so many companies switching over to a cloud model, whether it's whether it's hybrid or just full on public cloud, it's definitely going to be a great plus and also will expand your horizons a little bit if you decide to go into a cloud security role down the line in your career. Identity and access management, I've actually made a video on the importance of IAM to all cybersecurity roles across the board. So I'm really glad that they have a section dedicated specifically to this. You'll be learning how to distinguish between identity management and access management, working with users, groups, permissions, rights, and policies, as well as configuring users and groups. Another very interesting thing to note is that you'll also have the option to prepare for Microsoft Security Compliance and Identity Fundamentals exam and get 50% off in this program. So with completing this program, plus getting your CompTIA Security Plus, plus getting this Microsoft certification, that's already three new credentials that you're adding to your resume as, as part of the Springboard Cybersecurity Bootcamp. The next topic is IT project management. You'll be learning how to identify and explain basic principles and practices in IT project management. So this is something that I personally would have loved before going into my current cybersecurity role, or even as someone who's relatively junior on my team, I'm still leading different cybersecurity projects and initiatives. 
And yes, part of this does also include project management. As a cybersecurity analyst, you're not necessarily only doing the technical work, but you're also focusing on the project side of things, writing documentations, noting down project requirements, creating a project plan, using a Gantt chart. These are all skills that may not seem as relevant or necessary in the beginning, but once you start going into your role and your manager starts assigning you projects to lead, you're going to really see the impacts and the importance of being able to document your project's progress, how you're sharing the stakeholders, how how this is being presented to senior leadership and the SLT and making sure that there's visibility so that you're able to get that credit for future promotions or salary increases or, or similar conversations with your manager when that time comes. Next up is security operations. You guys have asked me many questions on SOC team and what that looks like. So I'm really glad that this is part of this bootcamp. You'll be learning topics from digital forensics to identifying malware. So this entire section seems related and dedicated to the blue team side of things. I think as a security analyst, you have a lot of different routes open to you and you can go into the blue team the red team auditing compliance there's so many different areas and niches in cybersecurity that you can go into so it's definitely beneficial for you to know both sides of the coin aka the blue team and the red team at least the fundamentals of what their jobs entail so that whatever role that you do work in cybersecurity you're able to have some background knowledge to be able to make the right decisions for your security organization all right next up is application security which is one of my favorite areas in cybersecurity you'll be focusing on the SCLC and secure devops specifically core concepts behind application security testing, implementing security across CI CD pipelines, identifying and assessing SQL versus NoSQL databases, and providing recommendations on how to address security risks and vulnerabilities. So I think the most interesting part of this is going to be on securing CI CD pipelines. This is definitely a very, very important area of cybersecurity that many companies are still trying to perfect when it comes to small companies or big companies. CI CD is essentially how you're bringing your code from a developer's local machine all the way to production. Some of this it may be automated, some of this may be manual, some of this may be somewhere in between. And obviously companies want to be as efficient and automated as possible when it comes to CICD so that it makes the developers, the DevOps teams, and the security teams lives easier. So there's definitely going to be a very good core area to learn. Next up is security assessment and testing. It'll be using common security tools to measure the vulnerabilities of computer systems and network devices, using tools in a Windows server to perform audits so like i mentioned earlier you kind of get a taste of the blue team side of things in the SOC section of this course and you kind of get a taste of the red team side of things under the security assessments and training section and that will probably also give you an idea of which area that you may be more interested in help you decide which roles and skill sets that you like to use in that first cybersecurity job out of a boot camp and finally going into the final sections of of this course are for your CompTIA Security Plus exam prep and they also provide you with mock exams in preparation for the exam. This is personally I think one of the most important things. I took hundreds of practice questions before I took the official Security Plus certification when I was studying for it and I would say that would probably attribute to 50% of the success that I had on my certification because it's not just about reading from the textbook it's also about trying to understand the language that they'll be using in those multiple choice questions in those performance based questions that you'll see on the real exam and having seen that language before you take the official exam is going to be very very important and then finally you'll be building your portfolio for your capstone project so springboard's career support is provided throughout the entire boot camp and it will help you tackle things like your job search strategy optimizing your resume building your network your linkedin profile cover letters preparing for technical and non-technical interviews as well as negotiation so after you've done all the hard work the groundwork for preparing yourself for that job then the second half of things is this career support side which one might argue is probably one of the most important sections of a bootcamp and can really make or break a program depending on how good the career support is. And this also goes into the springboard job guarantee. So just right off the bat, they mentioned that if you don't land a job within six months of graduating the program, they'll give you a full refund. Personally, I love that kind of guarantee, especially for boot camps that typically are a pretty large investment in yourself and your education and your future. Having a guarantee like this really does take some of the pressure off of yourself. You can review more of the logistics and the specifics of their job guarantee on their website. But if you have met all of the job guarantee requirements, requirements set out in those six months you'll receive a full refund of your tuition and you can see the details on the specific career track pages basic eligibility criteria include being proficient in english being at least 18 years or older and legally able to work in the u.s or canada be able to pass any background checks 
as well as holding a bachelor's degree from an accredited educational institution, excluding software engineering, cybersecurity, and tech sales career tracks if the student has a relevant industry experience. And as I mentioned earlier in this video, Springboard is a CompTIA authorized partner, which means that they partner with CompTIA to provide content for this program, and you'll be graduating with a CompTIA Security Plus certification, which is one of the most, if not the most popular certification for entry-level cybersecurity professionals. You'll be able to work one-on-one -on -one with your cybersecurity mentor who will provide industry insights, accountability for your work and your projects throughout the program, as well as personalized guidance through regular video calls. You can ask the important questions that you may not be able to ask anyone else. They also have various different reviews on their website. Personally, this is one of the sections that I really enjoy reading because you're able to understand what roles that previous graduates have come from and, and the current roles that they're in now in cybersecurity. Based on some of Springboard statistics, they have a 91.5% 12-month job placement rate, a $25,000 average annual salary increase for their graduates, and more than 13,000 enrolled students in Springboard career tracks since their launch in 2016. So is the Springboard Cybersecurity Bootcamp right for you? The only requirements to get into the Cybersecurity Bootcamp is to pass an evaluation of soft skills around communication, motivation, professionalism, and commitment to learning. So there's no technical education or background or experience required to enroll in this bootcamp. And the next cohort does start soon on July 10th, and the deadline for applications is in about three weeks on July 4th. In terms of funding your tuition, do you have four options for you? If you're paying upfront, you do get a 70% discount, which provides the best value, or you can pay month to month in a flexible payment plan. There are also options for enrolling now, paying later, as well as low monthly payments for finance tuition loans. And don't forget, you can get a $1,000 discount using my code with Sandra linked in the description below if you're interested in checking out the Springboard Cybersecurity Bootcamp. Overall, after reading their course descriptions, learning more about their job guarantees, as well as their job placement statistics for 91% employment, I do think that this is one of the most competitive bootcamp programs out there. Hopefully this video provided everything that you need to make a decision on what cybersecurity bootcamp is best for you. Let me know if you guys have any additional questions in the comments below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you guys so much for watching and if this video was helpful to you, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on post notifications. I post videos every Wednesdays and Sundays at 12 p.m. and hopefully I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!